Welcome to podcast episode 53 of Influence and Growth Mastery. You know, growing a business requires more than hard work and persistence. In this episode, we're going to discuss the benefits of taking a strategic approach to business growth. You know, I want to share some tips with you about how entrepreneurs and small business owners can develop a clear and effective growth strategy. Companies that have a strategic plan have a much greater opportunity to be successful than those that don't have one. A strategic plan is going to keep you very focused on your business overall direction and your long-term goals. You know, my recommendation is once that you have that plan created, it's going to, you need, excuse me, you're going to need to further break down that plan into tactical and operational plans so that you know exactly how you're going to get to the overall big picture, the overall big plan of what your strategic plan is going to be. It's critical that along the way that you identify in that strategic plan some small and some large goals. And these goals, again, they have to be clear. And most importantly, they have to be achievable. Now, you can have some goals that are stretch goals, big stretch goals that may seem to be unrealistic because they're big stretch goals that you want to get to. But you have to have some realistic goals that you're going to reach in the short term so that you can celebrate some small and achievable accomplishments and wins. One of the things that I highly recommend that you do is a SWOT analysis. I did this not too long ago myself. And it was amazing at the results because you really need to understand what are your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. That's what a SWOT analysis is. When you do that, and I highly recommend you either do it on your computer, you can do it in a spreadsheet, you can write it down. I oftentimes like to write things down because it really helps me to get real clear and to get real personable when I'm doing these types of things. But it helped me to get clear to really understand what my strengths were. And I've really been working on who am I? Who am I? And so to really understand my strengths and to focus on those strengths and not so much on my weaknesses, but to help me understand where I need to grow in those weaknesses. And then what are those opportunities and what are those threats that may be threatening my business today? The opportunities where I need to grow it allowed me to go out into Udemy and find some resources, some training to where I could watch and begin to strengthen an area, which number one was a weakness and number two, an area where I needed to grow. And I'm seeing that growth, which then helps me with an opportunity to help me in business growth, which then helps me in my overall strategic plan. So going through that SWOT analysis, is so critical in the opportunity that you need to go through, or I shouldn't call it an opportunity, it's your plan to see the overall goal and your mission to get to the, to the business growth that you want to get to. And so in order to experience that growth, other things that you really need to understand is what is your mission? What is your vision? And then you need to live towards that every single day. 
You need to work towards that every single day. You need to speak to that every single day. Stay in alignment to that every single day so that, again, your plan, your long-term strategic plan gets you to those revenue goals, that freedom plan that you want to get to. And so oftentimes you need to come back and review that plan. Are you still in alignment? Have there been life changes or business changes that require you to need to change that plan? And if so, monitor and adjust that so that again, you can get back in realignment towards your plan. So to summarize here, the key to your growth, your business growth, even your personal growth is to know where you're headed and having that strategic plan so that you can get there. And within that strategic plan, you've got to have the technical planning, the operational planning, those small goals, those big goals. You know, yes, it is a journey to get there, but you are headed to a destination. And you don't go off on vacation on a drive, surely, without a map. You've got to have a map. You've got to have a GPS. You've got to have a navigation system. You've got to have a plan to get there. So on your journey, know what that end plan is and how to get there. So I want to share with you, I've created a free Facebook group. It's called Influence and Growth Mastery. If you are an entrepreneur or a small business owner, I want to invite you to join. And in that group, you're going to hear from me. You're going to hear from other influencers that have joined the group already. It's new. It's growing. But there's quite a few people in there already that you're going to be able to learn from. We want to help you with your business growth, your strategic plan, and help you to get to that ultimate freedom plan that you are looking for. God bless my friend. I am so thankful that you have joined and are showing up frequently to hear these podcast episodes of Influence and Growth Mastery. Until next time, see ya. Bye.